So basically what we're going to do here is um, every time you open SolidWorks, you want to create a new part or assembly. Uh, we're just going to do a part. So as you can see, we have our extruded boss base feature here. Um, I'm going to show you the simplest way to do it, which is just to click on it. Um, it's going to bring up the three planes here because every time you use the extruder boss base feature, uh, you want to extrude from a sketch. So what's that? what that means is that you're going to select a plane to sketch on. So we select the top plane here. And we're just going to do a very basic sketch. We're just going to do uh, a center rectangle here. Um, don't need to dimension it. Don't really need to do anything. Uh, we're just going to sketch it and then exit the sketch up here. And when you do that, um, you can see this preview comes up with the, um, the boss extrude feature over here. Uh, and it asks you for a direction and it asks you for uh, the dimension because in this case we're um, extruding blindly, which just means that uh, we're extruding in a cer certain direction for um, a certain distance. Uh, and so since our units are in millimeters, you know, we could say 100 millimeters and then click enter and we would get this. Um, and so whenever you have um, what you want, you can go ahead and click that, uh, that green check mark right, right there. Um, alternatively, if you kind of want a, a better view, uh, you can drag this um, until it, it's about right. So you could put it like there if you wanted. Um, a lot of different options in here. You can extrude up to the vertex, up to the surface, offset from body, up to body, mid plane. Um, and there's various uses for each of those. In general, I tend to just use blind or up to surface. Um, but uh, once you once you like what you have there, you can just click that green check mark. Um, and then your uh, body is now created. So now we have this uh, cube here. Uh, and then the second feature I wanted to show you guys is the extruded cut feature. So again, you can just click on that. Um, again, it's going to ask you to sketch on a, um, a plane or a planar face. Uh, and so basically what that means is you can still choose any of the front, top, or right planes, but also you can choose one of the faces of our cube here. Uh, so let's say that we wanted to cut into this cube. We could select this face, and now we're actually sketching on the top of the cube. Um, so, you know, we can sketch another uh, center rectangle here. And it doesn't really matter the dimensions. I'm just trying to give you guys an example. Again, once you're done with the sketch, just click Exit Sketch. And again, it's going to show you that preview. Uh, and see, it shows it cutting through there. Um, well, it automatically used... Um, the dimension that we had from last time, which was 62 millimeters, uh, which in this case cuts through the whole surface, or whole body. Uh, you could do something less. You could do, let's say you did 30, and then um, as you can see, it just cuts in a little bit. Uh, but this is another instance when you can actually use another one of these options. So if you wanted it to just go through the whole body, you could select through all, which would mean it would go through the entire body there to the other side. Alternatively, you could do up to next, which would do the same thing because it basically just cuts uh, until you get to another end of the surface. Um, so for this one, we'll just say through all and we'll select that green check mark again. And then as you can see, we have a cut through the body now. Um, so one more thing I wanted to show you guys uh, was obviously these are um, just simple cubes for, for the cut and um, for the extrude uh, boss base. But I did also want to show you guys um, what would happen if you wanted to extrude something else. So in, in the past, what we did was we would always select this, but you don't have to do that. Uh, you can go to the sketch toolbar and you can just select sketch um, and you can kind of do a sketch first if you want. So let's say we want to sketch and we'll select the top plane here. Um, and let's say we want to make a very odd shape. Um, and you can do almost whatever you want. I mean, there's a few constraints with, with the extruder boss base feature um, in terms of intersecting geometry and stuff like that, but you can really extrude pretty much whatever you want. So, uh, you know, let's say we want to do this crazy shape, exit the sketch. So now we have that sketch um, and I have it selected there. So once you select your sketch, again, you can select uh, extruded boss base. And as you can see, it gives us a preview. Um, and so again, you know, we can select blind, we can drag this, um, all the methods I showed you work fine, but as you can see, uh, you can extrude very, very odd shapes. It doesn't have to be just cubes. Uh, so it's a very useful tool for, um, 
both creating geometry and for um, removing, um, cutting away geometry. Uh, very useful and pro probably the most basic feature in SOLIDWORKS.